Hello. Hello. Check. Take. Test. Hello. Test. 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 Hello. Test. Test. And he is also opening another show today at the Inco Center at 6:30 p.m. We request all of you to join us over there. Uh, cultural prejudice and stereotypes are explored in the work of Korean artist Chan Hyo Bae. Since graduating from the Slade School of Fine Art in 2007, he has expressed in his work the feelings of cultural and emotional estrangement he experienced in the UK. Bay's work has been shown in many international exhibitions in Austria, France, Norway, Jewish Museum UK, National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, Korea, and collected by Museum of Fine Arts USA in, and in Korea, USA, UK, and it, the list just goes on. So <laughs> I'm going to now invite Chan Hyo Bae to come and talk about his work and his journey. Welcome. Hello. Hello, uh, my name is Chan Yo Bae. Uh, I'm a Korean artist, uh, currently uh, living and stay, uh, working in um, London. So, yeah, uh, I'm very honored to have to be invited to Chan. Yes, okay. Okay, um, yeah, uh, I'm very honored to be invited to Chennai Photo Biennale 2019. And I came to Chennai uh, two weeks ago. Uh, to start the new project uh, titled the uh, Alta Project. Uh, while working on this project, I experienced quite a lot of uh, Indian culture in a short period of time. And I experienced quite a lot of, uh, um, I became more uh, curious about the Indian culture and the history now. Uh, before I started with my current project and uh, my experience in India, I'd like to explain, I explain my previous work titled uh, Existing in Costume. Existing in Costume has got uh, five series. And the first in the series is the self-portrait, uh, which was from 2005, 2007. The second in the series is the fairy tale project, which was 2008 to 2010. The third one is the punishment project carried out 2011 to 2012. The fourth is the witch hunting project from the 2013 to the 2016. The fifth is the jumping into the old painting uh, from the 2017 to the 2018. Uh, this was artwork uh, during the, my day um, in England to explore the social position of Asian men in Western society. Yeah, uh, when I was in South Korea, I thought uh, living and staying in the Western country uh, might make my future better. So um, at that time, I was uh, uh, working as a photojournalist uh, in a news company in South Korea, but um, I wanted to experience a foreign culture. Mm. So uh, especially a Western culture, uh, at that time, I vaguely admired the uh, Western culture. So I decided to go to the England in 2004 uh, for my further study. So um, at, actually, before, uh, before going to the uh, England, I didn't think about uh, any art. So I had never thought about uh, becoming an artist, uh, but the, the environment made me um, art into an artist pursuing art. From then on, I developed an interest in a cultural prejudice caused by the difference between the Eastern and the Western culture. Um, this idea has been extended to thinking about the social position of Asian men in Western society. I came across the many um, cultural shocks uh, at the moment 
and um, was faced with uh, unpleasant experience uh, such as uh, racial discrimination in a prospect of superiority of the Western culture. Um, I was curious about uh, what does why uh, does it happen to me? Have it happened to me? Following the, this question, I started thinking about the difference uh, such as the gender, uh, cultural, race, and uh, religion. I grew up, uh, I'm from, as you know, I'm from South Korea. I grew up in the West Eastern culture uh, that prioritized the male gender. Before having experienced the uh, uh, unpleasant uh, cultural prejudice uh, in Western society, um, the sense of superiority, superiority in the UK, I never questioned the male superiority before. Uh, the cultural uh, superiority and the male supremacy are uh, no different, I thought. Um, it is a need for power uh, in the social class structure and the effect with the um, rational violence. Understanding other cultures can be done only in the imagination, I think. The gender issue is to talk about the possibility of diversity for human beings without any dichotomy. They are similar in a way, the truly understanding of woman's position as a man would be difficult as much as the understanding the culture of East would be with the prejudice of the West. I was exploring my, my own desire to understand the situation uh, in the university context. So, at the beginning of my work in 2005, I was uh, interested in the uh, uh, social position of Asian men in Western society. But I realized that uh, this was my story uh, in the course of the process. Naturally, I started to, um, taking the self-portrait after that, I said the self-portrait became my visual language to express some of my feelings. I believe that the visualization of the imaginary Western culture, which I could never experience, could be realized through the accurate the representation. I concentrated on the correct setting and accurate the reproduction uh, to show the ability of my limited. Through desperate and the correct uh, representation of its uh, historical context. So, I tried to reproduce exactly the British historical costume, makeup, and the hairstyle in each era, from 13th century to the 19th century. Although at first, I, did, uh, I didn't know that uh, the outfit shown uh, in my works were noble outfits. I simply thought they were just a Western clothes. The reason that I chose the Middle Ages to the Victorian era is because people who are alive now wouldn't have experienced the 13th century to the 19th century. On the process of bringing my work alive, I had lots of difficulty and the limitation. Uh, even after working for two years, I couldn't find any answer uh, to the question about my feeling of alienation uh, that I was curious about. And I started to continue to search for my answers about the alienation. <laughs> At that time, I thought the alienation might be from the cultural prejudice. That served as a reason to stop my research on the cultural prejudice. And I learned that people are innocent. They are just affected by the education and the history. So I wanted to create my version of a history book. Instead, I chose a fairy tale because I thought fairy tales and history is quite similar. With that in my mind, I started to work on the Western fairy tale, which I know and similar to one in South Korea. I had a, con uh, I had a condition that 
the story must contain a bit of the story. Um, the story, I mean, each fairy tale uh, must contain the depiction of the social class. So, I pick, uh, I picked seven stories, which depicted the reader character as a kind and a good human being. I couldn't find any more than seven. While working with my second creation, uh, fairy tale project, I realized that both history and fairy tale share a common point. They make their readers to accept fixed conclusion or thought. Fairy tales grew day by day as a reinterpretation of my first project. I specifically chose the part that bring turn of event in the fairy tale. I used the hidden notion in this project as an important motif for my further, further work. For example, when I look at the Cinderella Amis, I expressed the moment where her social class is about to change. The main character is not only a Cinderella, but the coachman and the footman who have their own history. I gave, I gave their own history, such as being a son, husband, and the father, but I wanted them to be uh, the only Asian man like me in my history book. All the seven images have the same formulation. After that, I did punishment project. The main subject for my third series, punishment project, is the human power and the willing to power. I wanted to express the desire for power in human nature can be shown as a strong prejudice against the difference from the other culture. For punishment project, I choose five power holders in history, English history. I highlighted how they made the political conflict with the their rivals and how they prosecute punishment in order to prove their political power and authority. In my art, I describe the emotion as a result of the political power and the authority. So who are your five characters? Say again? Who are your five characters? Yes. Who are they? Uh, this is uh, Robert Delbrooks, and then Helly Amberlin, and Ace Charles first and Mary Stuart Stuart. Yeah, you can see more of them. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, uh, therefore, uh, re reflecting my feeling of the sense of alienation and the prejudice. Next images. I'd like to explain this image titled Ambling. This scene combined the wedding ceremony of Helly Ace with the Emily and the Helly's and her death punishment by Helly the Ace. As you can see in the background, the first wife Aragon Kathleen and the third wife Jane Seymour are seen on these images. They are very upset and desperate about Emily's wedding, not for her death punishment. I wanted to express the power of a human by their relationship in the history. It's possible <coughs> for the same for the same situation uh, to be positive for one person and the negative for other. Every picture in the punishment project carries the same depiction. After that. Until now, actually, until uh, punishment project, I tried to find the right, right answer, but I couldn't find. So at that time, uh, if I did, if I research or if I did reach on this project, uh, I, I had, uh, I hope, uh, to hope to get the, I mean, I hoped 
uh, to solve the testings. So the next project is a wheat champion project. During the, this project, I felt the desire to find out the difference between cultural prejudice and the cultural fantasy. I wanted to find out why was I labeled as an adult. I chose witchcraft to unveil the violence of perception in our society. It shows, actually the image is not very important for me. The title of crimes, title of the sentence is, uh, was very important. It shows six witch crimes which involved contracting with the devil and flying in the sky with a broomstick. I wanted to show the objectivity in, in the society with the depiction crime. The wrong search for the right answer for my question came to a stop from the jumping into the oil painting. I, start, I did that one in, started that one in 2016. Conclusion, uh, the fact that the right answer for the question might vary, might vary uh, depending on the present situation. I decided to search for the ultimate question. Therefore, I started jumping into the oil painting. I worked with the uh, mythical painting, insulting uh, animal skin into, uh, into them. I built the historical religion painting with the golden leaves on surface to express my feelings. Uh, for me, uh, it, it represents about the act of the violence. My latest is the uh, creation. Actually, I did this thing. The altar project is quite different from my previous project. Lately, I will be more interested in the superstition and the mythology and the religious boundaries. I have been working on the installation to combine symbol of the belief from India and the Korea. Uh, I think it's the altar project is displayed in the, in the uh, gallery at Inco Center at the moment. And I request everyone to join us at the opening ceremony this evening. So you can find the more things there. Mm. From now, um, yes, change slide, yeah. From now, I'd like to share a few of my experience in India uh, during these days. When I went to Hindu temple for the first time, maybe two weeks ago, I saw uh, people op uh, offering their prayer very sincerely, and uh, I was uh, fascinated by that, though I couldn't understand uh, what they were doing. I tried to use my imagination and experience to understand that. My father is a Buddhist. It stuck to me that every religion is uh, similar in terms of custom and the rules. But the only difference is the uh, object of the belief. Uh, personally, I'm not a religion, religious. Sorry. I felt like an outsider at that time and uh, began to thinking about who is wrong, who is right. This led me to question and compare. Therefore, the altar project, which I did in the UK, changed to the altar project. I'd like to say thank you so much for uh, giving me a chance to showcase my art here. Thank you. <laughs> and sorry, I actually I prepared something to read it, so if the PT uh, was a bit bored, but <laughs> Yeah, so after that, uh, I want to get a question and uh, uh, with my interpretator. I want to uh, add give you answers in Korean. Thank you. So can I speak to you?
Actually, um, any questions? feel like an outsider in England. So it's difficult to get access um, in at the, the in, in the in the day, in the yeah. location. Yeah, yeah it was the location a, and the whole uh, you know the tableau the, the setup. Um, actually from the uh, Ferris Mirror project uh, I started to take a photography in the some specific background, the castle or some uh, church and that time so it was uh, one of the very uh, difficult things to sort out the, this project. So um, yeah, I tried to find the location and uh, hired that. It was very expensive. Mm -hmm. However, actually, that time just I, after graduating, uh, I didn't have a uh, lot of, I mean, enough money. However, I tried it my best to uh, express my feeling. Yes, hired. <laughs> yeah, very, very nice talk. Huh? Very, uh, very nice, very interesting. Thank you. Uh, my question is: um, You said uh, there, there are there are some fairy tales uh, uh, which are similar to Korean fairy tales of Asia or you know, Europe, you know, uh, because uh, you showed twice. Uh, uh, Cinder now. Do you have the most popular fairy tales where, where they, everybody knows in the world, like Cinderella, which is also in Korea with uh, this book? And uh, do you have, uh, do, 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 do you never think about the tribal costumes when you are doing this? Tribal costumes, existing in costumes. You have a forest and tribes. Um, uh, what was the first first question? Fairy tales. Uh, fairy tales. Asia, Asia, uh, yes, actually. In Korea. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, Cinderella is a quite a common and popular in every Korean children. Actually, before uh, before coming to, I mean. Before arriving at uh, in the UK, I knew the Cinderella. Everybody know that, I think. And then we have a similar story as well. Kongi Pachi. It does a storyline is exactly the same, but it's just a different uh, character. So fairy tale has that kind of a common point. So that's why, at at that time, I really uh, wanted to make the history books. However. Yeah, I did the uh, fairy tale. I thought it's the same. And then? Tribal costumes. Mm. Uh, sorry, I didn't know. Could you, uh, could you explain one more time? No, I just it may be a wrong question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, for me the most interesting costumes are tri tribal costumes in the tribal. world. Tribal costumes, the Aboriginal costumes. Like that. Do you have something like that in Korea and in, in the forests, uh, in the jungles? Like that? So you mean, uh, am I interested in uh, no, something? Something like that exists in Korea, uh, Aboriginal uh, something like that. And do you have that? Uh, they have a special costume wherever the Aboriginal style, special jewelry and all. Oh, I have you tried exploring the indigenous people, maybe in Korea or elsewhere? Uh, sorry, I couldn't perfectly understand. I'm not sure now, but it's about 20, 30 years ago. Uh, I saw the, uh, that kind of uh, question in the television. Yeah. 
어, 한옥마을이라고 있어요. 어. Uh, he says like uh, uh, he's not sure about the uh, Aboriginal people living in Korea, but uh, there is a village called Hanok in uh, Korea. So when you go there, you can experience like olden days. There's this period called Joseon, which is uh, around 14th or 15th century. So uh, these days, people don't wear uh, traditional clothes in Korea unless and until it's um, something special. They don't wear sari uh, like how Indians wear sari on a regular basis. I don't think Korean people wear um, their traditional dress uh, regularly. So when you when foreigners like us, when we wanted to go experience Korea, uh, we we visit uh, Hanok. It's called Hanok. Uh, there's this village called Hanok, and every uh, everything, the setting and the food and uh, the people, there are shows uh, which is quite similar to the ancient times. So I don't think uh, like he doesn't think. Uh, uh, there are Aboriginal uh, people uh, living in Korea. Yeah. Um, first, when I saw your work many years ago, I thought you were gay. You were um, probably queer. But now I met you, you have family, like normal men. And how how did you feel when you first found that your you present yourself as a woman in a painting? What you feel to wear the, a wig and, and everything? Any 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 feeling that you happened to you? Sorry, I want to add answer the in Korean. 내가 처음에 그 여장을 했을 때 일단 되게 무거웠어요. 그리고 어 되게 불편했어요. Um, when he started wearing women clothes for uh, the photo shoot, the first thing he felt was it's heavy. Everything was heavy. It seemed like uh, the wig and the costume, the makeup, everything was heavy, and he felt uh, it's quite uncomfortable to dress up as a woman. Um, actually, it's a, a attraction was one of the case. Um, when I went to first at the first time when I went to the UK, I need a friend and then I need some group to reduce my alienation. Actually, I felt a bit lo lonely, and then but um, the, my aim to go to the UK means uh, I wanted to get out. Western culture, maybe it make me more, uh, my, it make my, uh, my future better. I choose the woman because uh, uh, I, I, I'm a man, so just I wanted to show another uh, sexuality. So there are not just a man and woman, there are some gay or lesbian or whatever, there are lots of different uh, sexuality in our society. So, however, individually, I had just one chance to show the uh, woman's, yeah, instead of the man. So the woman is a kind of your uh, alienation feeling, right? Yeah, that's right. That's why it's uh, um, I when I before the, before starting the, this kind of project, I didn't know about Orientalism or cosmo, uh, cosmopolitanism or anything. Actually, I don't know anything about that, but it's. Uh, there is, I can say, there is something, uh, some cultural prejudice in the in our society, not just between East and the uh, West. Uh, so, I felt, um, yeah, because it's, uh, as you can see, I'm not good at speaking English. It's over. I've been living there over ten years, but it's, it's. I think it's one of my uh, ability. So people can get uh, some ability to um, learn the English or English or culture very fast. However, some someone uh, like me is hard to cover the that things. It means I need more desire and effort to cover the that kind of way. So, and I I, I can yeah I think it's a uh, woman man people is uh, and when I um. PPT a presentation. I didn't think about any gender issue. It's what man and woman in our uh, in South Korea because it was not necessary. But 
in England, um, yeah, I started to think about and the, I don't like the violence. Actually, prejudice is quite um, it's quite strong violence for uh, human. So I didn't make any trouble or anything, and but uh, from just from the cultural prejudice, just imagination. So I cannot express everything is my in, in English, my feeling, even in Korean. But I think that kind, yeah, so. I would like to add uh, for what he said. Um, the reason why he had to dress up as a woman is uh, when we take fairy tales as example, um, he chose seven stories as you saw before. Um, all the leads in the uh, fairy tales are women. Uh, I, I am sure that everybody would have noticed it. So there is, he, um, wanted to be the only, uh, he, he doesn't want to be the only Asian man. So he converted himself to the lead and in his thought, he made everybody else the Asian man that he wanted to be. So that sums it up, I think. Yes, it's, uh, first of all, that actually woman is, uh, was very important because uh, um, just I felt like that. That's why I gave some meaning to hope before in, uh, in 2005, when I did the first images, uh, many um, men interested me because they they thought it's a, probably it, I've got the, some possibility to be on their uh, good friend, but um, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't, and so that time the uh, the woman is a very important uh, subject in my project. But after that. When I did the uh, fairy tale project, actually I I didn't want to be on uh, be on the woman. Just the seven character was a woman. So that's why after the the project, actually that is the emblem, and the very thought is the woman. Less the uh, other uh, the other uh, is man, but they are powerful man. It uh, doesn't care about the sexuality. So. But, uh, yeah, so wearing costume, Western costume is kind of, I, I want to tell, I want to express some of my feelings through the, my images. So I use the visual language, as a visual language, ah, uh, this is Chan Yo Bae. So he, what he did, what is his next doing? So I want to use the, that kind of uh, fact. So that's why when I express some uh, my feeling, I'm using the, my body and the, my, uh, the, the kind of Western uh, costume. I, I'd like to share you uh, s uh, in some um, information that I, because I, you know, uh, Murin Murat? Uh, yes. Yeah, Murin Murat, he probably mm -hmm. one of the uh, best known uh, Japanese uh, artist photographer who uh, existing, mm -hmm. existing in this art world by transform himself to somebody else, like Peter Caro and, and so on, and you name it. And even in a classical painting, you know, um, I met him in Bangkok. He, he, he couldn't speak English, like worse than you. He, he, he couldn't speak any, any English. He just said, thank you and goodbye, that's all. And very interestingly that he, he, really, he, really, he was a small guy and he's so shy. He never really go out and talk to people. And when he asked me to help him to photograph his work, and okay, I, 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 I have no problem to help him. And he spent like maybe four hours for makeup preparing himself and to come to the set and ask me to photograph. And then he turned himself to somebody else. At that time, he turned himself to, to be a, it's like a similar to Malay Monlo. And to me, it's just like, oh, maybe somebody, I mean, uh, can be able to feel or exist by imitating or impersonating another person. This is, for me, is a very fascinating. Uh, Collector, um, I know that this probably have uh, a story or like 
side, I mean, this is a kind of like mental uh, kind of thing like, like that. I, I think maybe this is something that I'd like to share to you. Yeah, I think it's, I don't know, um, I did, when I, uh, just, uh, I'm making, um, big, uh, 나는 이 자국을 만들 때 완벽한 세팅을 만들고 싶었어요. No matter how hard it was, he just wanted to show what he wants in a perfect way. He wanted every the set, the costume, the artist, everybody to be perfect. So 그렇게 다 만들고 나서 그걸 준비하는데 it takes about three three months. In the 2009, I did my best, but I took four images. So uh, when I take to one image, it takes about three, uh, three months. Uh, most uh, difficult thing was to hire the location, to find the location. After that, set of the things, I, uh, I went there with the photographer and uh, makeup artist, uh, many of my crew go there. Just the, it takes about very short time to take photography. Actually, when I look at the uh, camera, just I'm I tried to think about the NAMI, I mean, 다른 그 상황에, 내가 만들고 있는 상황에, 모드에서 집중하려고 했던 것 같아요. He concentrates in uh, what he's doing. So, uh, and as he told, like, uh, it takes like around three months to search for a location and find the perfect one and like gathering people around and spending money for uh, the, uh, confirming the location. But it takes only two or three hours. It, within a matter of seconds or within like in, in, in a very short time, it happens. So everything has to be perfect um, yeah. within the short period yeah. of time. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm in love with images, I mean, very elaborate. Um, clearly, there is a lot of people you've worked with, uh, makeup artists. Um, I'm, I'm curious to know the process, uh, if you can share briefly. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to know, through the process of having worked with different people, right? I mean, makeup artists and the production designers, people who help you with costumes. Um, working with different people, I don't know if they're Westerners, did it reduce your sense of alienation or you know just the journey of getting to what what you were searching for right did it reduce that sense of alienation yeah i focus on the when i did uh, when i before taking this project and i had lots of meeting with the other profession it's makeup artist or uh, even coordinator so they are their profession, and then just I explained before just taking uh, doing this project, we had a meeting. I asked them, I want to do this kind of thing. I explained the, uh, whatever uh, I can do, explain everything to them, just to leave it. And then they can, they are uh, creative as well. So it's reducing during the, this process, yeah, yeah, that's right. Actually, it's, I, I met a uh, lot of friends to do the same goal, and it's different. It's this, this kind of uh, sharing emotion is different with the one individual person, between individual person and society, it's a different way. So uh, some part, I think it's some part of the, this kind of relationship uh, made me uh, reduce, reduce my feeling, but Still, I and the society is uh, have a lot of the gap, I think. Anyone else? Okay, and then I guess we take a break for lunch. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Please do come to the info center this evening at 6.30 where Chan Hyobi has worked on another project in Chennai uh, as part of his residency and he will be opening that show today, 6.30 p.m. at Info Center. Please join us. Thank you. We have some cool merchandise outside. If any of you are interested, please go take a look and join you back at around 2.30 for the next talk. Thank you.